Check it out, the driver's holding on to the oh shit bar. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Eric. I've got the Arma Fire Team back out. This time set up a little bit different. I'm gonna try to do some uh, crazy sends on it. I got her set up for more of a speed bash. I've got the uh, Belta guitars on here. I absolutely love these tires. Uh, I run them on my Creighton, the uh, Italians by Italian XL. Excellent tires for uh, gearing up and doing some high speed rips. On the inside here, again, this truck is uh, fully M2 CFI chassis braces and uh, shock standoffs. It's also fully beef caked out and Kimberly from Basher Queens, uh, awesome carbon fiber parts and her amazing pure force uh, steering servo saver right there. It's also running M2C drive shafts in the back right there and then the uh, front center right here. And as a quick tip on the towers, on the carbon fiber towers, I did do some super glue around the edges right here just to uh, prevent any kind of splitting or fraying. I also switched out to the Max 6 ESC and the Hobby Star 4082 2000 KV. I am running a 25 tooth pinion, which is way over geared just for general bashing. So I'm just going to use this for some speed launches and uh, high speed uh, street rips. As far as the body, it's starting to take a little bit of wear from all the bashes I've done. This thing's taking some major airs, rolls, and hits and stuff. Overall, the cage is super sturdy and holding this thing together. Uh, but I did have a couple of screws pull through, so I put some bigger washers in there and also added a little bit of shoe goo in the crack right here just to hold these panels on so they don't split off again. Then ran a zip tie right here to uh, hold these panels on. So you just have to kind of go in and reinforce a couple little things on this body if you're going to bash hard. Guys, this thing rips and gets out for sure. All right, guys, I put my Sky RC GPS in it just for the heck of it to see what kind of height we get. It'd be kind of cool on a, a big 17 scale fire team. So I'll put it in flying mode and then start. And we'll see what she does. Little bounce on the landing. Read 62 feet at 66 miles an hour. It's pretty good for a big uh, 17 scale fire team. Guys, this thing is nuts with this setup. On durability test. All right, guys, came out to a dirt spot. I'm gonna give this thing a quick run on the backflips. The uh, Belta guitars are absolutely crazy. Again, I was on a 25 tooth pinion, so I dropped down to a uh, 17 and put the backflips on us. So we're gonna play around for a little bit. Check it out, the driver's holding on to the oh shit bar. <laughs> Oh 
Ooh, butter smooth landing. Check it out guys, one of my dudes lost his hands and his gun uh, probably a month or two ago. And here it is. <laughs> Guess I'll glue it back on. That was a bit rough. Guys, this truly is an awesome truck. Oh! <laughs> right on this giant pile of concrete right here. Oh! Yeah, it looks like they'd uh, just popped the drive shaft out. That was a serious M2C chassis test right there. It looks like it probably just overflexed the arm and popped out the shaft. I'll fix that real quick. That could have been brutal. Little handbrake right there. It's pretty cool to slide that back end around. Somebody got ejected.